Number 10. The Hulk was originally depicted as Grey in his first appearance in The Incredible Hulk No. 1, published by Marvel Comics in 1962. However, due to printing issues and difficulties maintaining a consistent grey color across different printings, the decision was made to change the Hulk's color to green in the second issue. He became grey again in The Incredible Hulk No. 347 when his Joe Fixit persona came out. Number 9. The Hulk was inspired by Frankenstein's monster. The concept of the Hulk draws parallels to Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, or the modern Prometheus. Like Frankenstein's monster, the Hulk is a creature created by science gone awry. He was also inspired by the story of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, another classic monster. Number 8. The End is a storyline set in a potential future of the Marvel Comics universe depicting the final fate of certain characters. There is a specific one-shot comic titled Hulk, The End, written by Peter David and illustrated by Dale Keown. It was published in 2002. In this story, set in a post-apocalyptic future, Bruce Banner, the Hulk's alter ego, is seemingly the last living being on Earth. The narrative explores the consequences of a nuclear war and the toll it has taken on both Banner and the Hulk. The two entities are depicted as having separate consciousnesses and the story delves into their internal struggles in the state of the world around them. Number 7 In The Incredible Hulk, number 312, 1985, it is revealed that Bruce Banner's father, Brian Banner, was responsible for the death of his mother, Rebecca Banner. The specifics of the story may vary in different retellings, but the general narrative is that Brian Banner, who was an abusive and mentally unstable individual, murdered Rebecca when Bruce was a child. This tragic event and the abusive relationship with his father have been significant factors in shaping Bruce Banner's character, contributing to the emotional turmoil and anger that later become central themes in the Hulk's origin story. Number 6 The Hulk has two sons, Scar and Hirokala. Scar is the son of the Hulk, Bruce Banner, and Kyra the Old Strong. He first appeared in The Incredible Hulk, number 92, 2006. Scar possesses abilities similar to his father, including superhuman strength and durability. His character has been involved in various story arcs, often exploring his relationship with the Hulk and his connection to the planet Sakaar. Hirokala is another son of the Hulk and was introduced in Scar, Son of Hulk, number 12, 2009. He is the twin brother of Scar but has a different upbringing and experiences. Number 5. The Hulk has been depicted as having a high resistance to certain forms of magic and telepathy. However, the extent of this resistance can vary based on different storylines and interpretations by writers and artists. The Hulk has demonstrated resistance to magical attacks in various instances. This resistance is often attributed to the mystical nature of the Hulk's transformations and the gamma radiation that granted him his powers. While not completely immune, the Hulk has shown resilience against magical attacks that might affect other characters more profoundly. The Hulk is also known for having a strong resistance to telepathic manipulation. This resistance is often attributed to the Hulk's unique mental state, characterized by a strong willpower and the presence of the Hulk persona within Bruce Banner's mind. Telepaths often find it challenging to control or influence the Hulk's thoughts due to the chaotic and powerful nature of his consciousness. Number 4 the Maestro is a version of the Hulk from a possible future timeline. In this future scenario, Earth has experienced a nuclear apocalypse, and the Maestro has emerged as a powerful and despotic ruler. The Maestro first appeared in The Incredible Hulk, Future Imperfect No. 1, 1992, written by Peter David and illustrated by George Perez. In this storyline, the Maestro rules over a dystopian future Earth where he has established himself as a tyrannical leader. This version of the Hulk is characterized by enhanced intelligence, strength, and a ruthless demeanor. The name Maestro is derived from the Italian word for master or teacher. The character has made subsequent appearances in various Marvel storylines, often serving as a formidable adversary due to his combination of Hulk-level strength and enhanced intellect. I hope you're enjoying this video. Before we get to the top three, please could you take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel as it would be a great help. Number 3 The original Hulk comic only lasted six issues, 
It then carried on in tales to astonish issues 59 to 101. It then went back to the Incredible Hulk comic with number 102, which lasted to issue number 474. Number 2. In the 2008 Old Man Logan miniseries, the Hulk ate Wolverine, but to his surprise later burst back out of his body. He also ripped Wolverine in half in the alternative Ultimate Wolverine vs. Hulk miniseries, which is some feat as we all know Wolverine's bones are made from adamantium. Number 1. World War Hulk is a storyline in Marvel Comics that depicts the Hulk as one of his most powerful and formidable incarnations. The storyline was published in 2007 and follows the events of Planet Hulk, where the Hulk was sent into space by Earth's heroes due to perceived danger. In World War Hulk, the Hulk returns to Earth with a vendetta against those he holds responsible for the events that led to his exile. The storyline showcases the Hulk's incredible strength, enhanced powers, and heightened intelligence. During World War Hulk, the Hulk is often regarded as one of the most powerful beings on Earth. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from the video and we'll see you on the next one.